What's up guys? Um, decided to pick up the camera today. I just got done with an exam, so I uh, figured I'd start the video off here. It's like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Um, I usually don't work out this late, but I don't know. Yo, this beanie is honestly a vibe. What do you guys think? I've been rocking the beanie because I'm looking dusty, musty, and everything in between. So, until I get a haircut, I'm going to be wearing this beanie um, a lot. So, it's funny because this, um, this is my boy's beanie. It's a Vanguard. He works for Vanguard. And um, it's funny because we made this joke. It's like, he's a financial advisor there. And he, like, always complains about, like, how miserable his, his life is because his job is so trash. Um... And, like, I, he, like, left it here one day, and I was like, bro, I'm going to just keep it. And I'm going to wear it every single day to remind me not to work the 9 to 5 life. And to, to help me, like, keep me motivated to, like, grind as hard as possible so I don't have to work an actual, like, 9 to 5 job. So, shout out my boy. Also, if Vanguard is watching this, free my boy, all right? I'm not going to say the name. It's confident, confidential, but um, free my boy. Let's go. All right? Get him out of that 9 to 5 life, baby. But yeah, so we're about to go um, head to a workout. My boy is going to help me record. His name is Rafi. He's not my roommate. He's another Rafi, but um, he's going to help me record. And uh, we'll see how it goes. It should be fun, though. Uh, we got back today. Back and shoulders, actually. One of my most commonly asked questions is like, yo, like, what's your split? You know, like, what's your perfect, like, you know, what's the best split? And I always answer with the same thing. It's like, there is no perfect split. There is no, like, cook, like cookie cutter split that's going to, like, guarantee you gains, right? It's just like there's a perfect split for each individual person. There's a perfect split for you, and there's a perfect split for me. So just do whatever whatever excites you the most, whatever is going to keep you the most consistent, and I would say that's the best split, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Experiment. Try different stuff out. Arnold split, push pull legs, bro split. There's so many different splits out there, but just do whatever that you enjoy doing the most, and you'll you'll see that like that's what's going to keep you getting in the gyms. Also, if you guys didn't see, I uh, got the new peach cloud foam tee on so this shirt this is my favorite shirt and they're dropping in four new colors um on march the third so i think this video is going to be out um the day that they're dropping hopefully so definitely go check them out make sure you guys cop them um look how stretchy these are bro like no joke like bro so if you guys got these immor immortal joggers you have to get a, a like a cloud foam like this is the best combo in the game <laughs> All right, what are we rocking today? Hey, we got the reg and the pumps here, right here. This is the godly combo. If you're gonna get anything from your supplements, these two right here. Boom, caffeine, boom, non-stim. This is for the pump, this is for the buzz, all right? So just give up these, stack them. Best stack right here. I've been experiencing a little bit of a wrist pain. I don't know if anyone else has, but it's like whenever, it only hurts whenever I supinate my wrist, right? So whenever I'm curling, if I do hammer curls, it's fine. But as soon as I start like twisting my, my, my wrist in a little bit, it's like a deep pain right here, like on the inside of the pinky, on the pinky part of the wrist. And I think it's from, uh, because I started like uh, bench pressing pretty heavy on incline barbell, so I, I go a little bit wider, and I think that has like, something to do with like the, the stress that it's putting on my wrist, but I don't know. We're slowly getting back into it, so let's see how it goes. Work. 
Instagram behind the scenes look. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but it's pretty loud in here. But um, the bulk has been treating me really well, boys. Um, we're at 200 pounds. We just hit 200 pounds like uh, two days ago. And I'm going to try to get a consistent 200 pounds morning weight for like a week straight. And then we'll see. I don't know. I'll start my cut. But I'm kind of hesitant on it because my boys have been telling me that I should keep bulking. And honestly, like the more I think about it, the better that idea sounds. Because I've been feeling amazing on this bulk. Like you have no idea. I've been feeling so much stronger, way fuller. You know, my neck isn't as skinny anymore, bro. I don't know if you guys remember, but when I was shredded, my neck was literally like a giraffe, dog. It was like bad. But yeah, the vibes in this gym today are insane. There's so many people in here. I've never seen this many people in here before. But uh, yeah, we're getting it in. Shoulder pump, check. Chest, check. Voices filling up your mind You're like a ghost of you You've been drowning in the rain Slowly saving up the pain So deep inside of you See the colors of the sky Slowly turn from black and white A rising hope, bright as gold And now there's nothing left to lose So we're breaking up the rules And they don't know what we know So many of you guys have been putting this picture as your lock screen. That's so funny, bro. Like, imagine, like, you pick up your phone, and then you see this in the in your phone. Like, bro, that's that's hilarious. I want to see how many people we can get to put that as your lock screen, so. Or just me in general. So, I usually don't do this, but um, I kind of just wanted to open up a little bit with you guys and just kind of have, like, a little heart-to-heart, -heart, right? Um, but basically... I just want to let you guys know, like, if you want something in life, go and get it, bro. Like, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something because, you know, I know it sounds cliche. Everybody says it, but it's like, it's true. You know, if you want, if you want a certain thing in life, you have to do something about it. You have to go get it. You have to be productive and you have to believe in yourself, man. But people are going to want to bring you down. People are going to tell you, yo, you can't do this. You can't do that. But yes, you can. Like, if you truly, truly want something in life. If you put in effort and you put and you put in your everything into it, you're you're gonna make it happen at at some point. And basically, where I'm going with this is, I'm a mechanical engineering student. For those of you who don't know, and I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I literally hated mechanical engineering. I don't, I feel like I don't belong in there. Like, yeah, I'm good at math, but I don't know. Like from the moment I got into the program and I walked into my first class, like I looked around and I just knew that that's not what I wanted to do with my life. You know. And for the first two years of just being in that program, like, I had, I'm not gonna lie, I had bad anxiety. I was like, this is not what I want to do for, for the rest of my life. You know, I don't, well, like, I don't know what else to do. Like, what do I do? You know, I want to say this because I know there's a lot of, you know, college students or even high schoolers who are kind of going through the same thing. It's like, you're trying to find yourself. You're trying to find your purpose in life. Find a passion and just put your everything into it and make that, make, find a way to make that, like, your living. Make that your life. My biggest fear is working a nine to five job. Like everything about that just gives me anxiety. You know, working under somebody, doing something that you don't even care about, that you don't even, you know, want, working with people you don't really even care about. It's like, like that sounds like trash. Like who wants to do that for the rest of their life? So, you know, and I got to this point where I started posting, you know, on social media and, you know, now I'm somewhat making a living out of it and we're just, you know, we're still growing right now. We're still in the early stages of it, but, you know, it's, it feels so good to you know say that like, this is gonna be my life and another thing i wanted to say is you can't care about what people think about you bro like if you want to be successful in life other people's opinions cannot matter to you like the negative comments that you get the negative just the hate that you get you who cares they're the ones that are insecure and they're the ones that wish that they were in your spot when i first started posting on tiktok i got so much hate i got so many people who tell me yo stop posting content your content's cringe Imagine if I would have stopped. Imagine if I were to listen to that person that told me that I needed to stop making videos. Where would I be at right now? 
I would still be in engineering and I would be, you know, applying for internships and applying for jobs. And that's what I would be doing for the rest of my life. Like, no, you cannot care about what people think about you, bro. I know this is kind of like random, but I don't really do these talks. But yeah, if you have a dream, chase it. Like, just do everything you can. Make it happen. I promise you, you'll be so much happier. Next week, we'll, me and my boy, uh, my roommate, Ralphie, we're going to be um, flying out to Texas. So uh, I think we're going to go down to Alpha Land and check it out, see what the vibes are over there. But um, yeah, if you're from the Texas area, um, I might see you. So come say what's up if you see me. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, until next time, go make those games, baby!